Now here I've constructed another graph in the same way I constructed this one, but I chose a scale that puts the point a little higher here, okay, just a, a, a graphical scale. It's the same function. We could choose any point on this graph and call it 1, 1, and we would have a graph of y equals x to the p. At least we would have an approximate graph of y equals x to the p, approximate to the extent that I could construct it accurately. And I didn't measure these out. I did this all by eyeball. Um, you can try to improve on my results. There's a way to test how well you do this graph. Okay, but you can look at these points and verify for yourself <coughs> that it's at least plausible that every time x doubles, y increases by a factor of 1.5. So this is a graph for factor one point five and I'm going to go ahead and extrapolate the zero zero point again and then connect these points with a smooth curve and hopefully I have a pretty good factor one point five graph a graph that represents an x to the p function for p equals log of one point five divided by log of two now what I want to do is I want to ask myself what happens if I label a point, take a point on this graph and label it as something besides 1, 1. Then I'm just going to arbitrarily uh, pick a point about here. And I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, let's let this be x equals 1. So right there's x equals 1. But I want y to equal something different, like maybe 5. So this is now the point. 1, 5. Well, clearly, this is no longer the graph of y equals x to the p because 1 to the p is 1, not 5. However, it turns out, and you can prove this, and it's, it's, it's perfectly plausible to say this. There's no big surprise once I say this. Uh, you'll pretty much believe that it's true, but uh, believing that it's true doesn't mean that it is true. Okay, so that is a graph of y equals 5x to the p. And I'll write, again, something we haven't proven, but I'll write out here that p equals log of 1.5 divided by the log of 2. Okay, so... We need to prove that if 1, 5 is on this graph, on this curve, then y equals 5x to the p which is, of course, I don't have room to write it, 5x to the log of 1.5 over the log of 2. Now, you really can't read what I just wrote there, but we understand that for this specific graph, p is log of 1.5 over log of 2. I could have written it on another line if I'd have had a little more foresight. Okay, so that, this isn't really important. That's implicit. Uh, so, but I've written it out just to indicate that you can take this value for p, put it in here, and that's so. So, can you prove this? Okay, well, this is actually a fairly sophisticated proof, but not one that's beyond um, a pre-calculus student who has a path to a strong calculus course. For some pre-calculus students, this would be way too much, and I'm not going to ask everybody in my pre-calculus class to prove all these things. And mainly, these things in purple are mainly aimed at students who are going to go on possibly into a more extensive STEM curriculum. And they're not, the proof is not essential for people who aren't going to do that. And the proof is probably 
uh, beyond a lot of people who can still profit from a pre-calculus course. Okay, so we have this <coughs> idea of something else that there is to prove. <coughs>